With Authorize.net, you need to get a login ID, a transaction key, and a public client key. To get this information, you need to go to Authorize.net and go to your settings. And then from your settings, you need to go to your API credentials and keys. Your API login ID is found here. That's a unique number for your company. Now your transaction key is the next thing that you need. So go back to your company settings and you would have a transaction key. So that would be generated on this page. So you would need to, to create a new key uh, at this time and hit submit. And then the final key that you need, and again, put that into Made Central. The final number you need, or the final uh, code that you need, is you need the public client key. So that would be under Again, to find that would be under authorize.net home. And then you would go to your settings and you would go to your uh, manage public client key. And that is found here. So the full number uh, will be hidden here in the video, but your number would be there.